I'm Eli Ortiz. And today we're very excited to finally unveil a project we've been working on for over a year now. It's a board game and the name of the game is Hexica. So Hexica is a strategy economic building game that takes place in space. And to make it more interesting, we've added the objective of capturing flags. And there's not enough flags for everybody. So at some point in the game, conflict is inevitable. You're going to have to go after other players to take their flags and then you can win the game. You know, we spent a lot of time thinking about other games that we'd enjoyed as we were developing Hexica. And not just board games, but a lot of computer and video strategy games, which is what we played a lot growing up. Mm -hmm. We took the elements that we liked from those games, and we tried to avoid the components that we thought really bogged them down. Mm -hmm. And one thing that a lot of games have that we didn't really like is a snowballing effect, where there's one person that jumps out ahead, there's nothing the other players can do to stop them from winning. So we've added some things in there that a lot of games don't have where you can stop that person from winning. You can have a real influence on the outcome of the game. Yeah, and because everyone really does have a chance in that sort of a game setup, it makes every single turn really exciting. No one wants to quit halfway through the game because everyone, for the most part, has an equal chance of winning it right to the very end. There's a lot of photo finishes where people are really, really excited when the game finally does come to its climax. Which is not to say that there's too much chance involved. We like to think we got a good balance between chance and strategy, probably about 30% chance, 70% strategy. So someone who just walks off the street can have a good time, but it'll definitely be a great time for anybody who plays it over and over again. And you know, something that goes along with that idea of mixing chance and skill is the idea of complexity. We really didn't want a game that was so complicated that you had to uh, spend a lot of time explaining to someone new, or if you ran into a problem, you had to flip through some really complicated manual to find the answer. We wanted something that was simple enough to learn, but something that would grow over time. People would get deeper into the strategy and figure out new things to do with the ships. And what we found was less is more. It made it more fun to keep it as simple as possible, but still make it a lot of fun for more advanced players. I definitely agree. So now that we've introduced Hexica, maybe Maybe we can take a look at some of the components. First of all, we've got the money. Then we have the rule book. We've also got four player cards. Then we have the dice here. And we've got the advanced systems cards. Also the damage counters and the flags. And finally the ships. There are 29 ships in every fleet and there's six different kinds of ships per fleet. Underneath it all, let's take a look at the board now. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about our plans for Hexica in the coming months. So at this point, our plan is basically to make a limited run of handmade copies, get it out to the public, let them see all the hard work that we put into it, that it's, Hexica is a very good game. And then we've also got um, plans to put it on Kickstarter so we can garner some support, let people play it, let people test it out, see what they think, and then they can support Kickstarter for us because we've actually got a factory standing by ready to go it's just a money issue at this point. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you can pick up a copy before they're all sold out. And uh, maybe we can play with you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.